This is the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth, home to over 4,000 animals from 400 different species. It has a total of 50 live exhibits, including three massive tanks, the largest of which is Britain's deepest tank, holding 2.5 million litres of water. of education, conservation and research. Its mission? To inspire everyone to enjoy, learn and care about our oceans through amazing memorable experiences. And through this I went along to find out how exactly it fulfills this mission. The Aquarium's Discovery Zone is a dedicated educational department made up of marine biologists, qualified teachers and a resident artist who all serve to teach children and adults about marine life. I asked Juliana to pledge about the facilities they use to do this. Well, We have this classroom area which we use uh, during the week, during term time with the school children. Um, during weekends and during holiday times it's thrown open to the wider public so they can come and do drop-in art sessions. Uh, it gives them lots of opportunity to read books in here, to uh, look around the walls at the kind of work that we're doing. And if we have any, um, we often have leaflets around showing the different sort of conservation projects or um, appeals, you know, so for example, uh, to stop using balloons or plastic bags because of the harm that they do to turtles. Um, we have uh, another floor uh, on the top which is being hopefully turned into a new education centre. We have also have 4D theatre which although it shows a sort of a, a fairly fun 15 minute film, it does um, open up people's minds to the big questions about conservation and looking after the oceans in a fun way. The Explorer Zone allows the public to experience realistic underwater situations as well as learning the ways that the ocean is in danger due to climate change. scientists dedicated to carrying out scientific programs and communicating marine science to the wider world. Well I work with the, uh, the husbandry team, there's many different departments here. And the husbandry team is the one that looks after the animals. Um, so I'm what's titled a senior biologist. There's two of us in, in senior biologist positions and then below us we have uh, a team of aquarists who help look after the animals as well. Uh, so there's six of us in total. Uh, and we cover everything from preparing the fish's food, testing the quality of the water to make sure it's okay for them. Uh, we also actually dive in the tanks as well, and that's for cleaning and for feeding. Uh, we then work transporting animals in, quarantining them, designing new displays and then putting animals on display to the public. One of the highlights to the aquarium is the Mediterranean Sea, 
Britain's deepest tank and home to some of their largest sharks. The top of the tank, however, gives a very different perspective to what the public will experience down below. So what else makes this aquarium different from others in the UK? Um, this aquarium, apart from its location, I mean, Plymouth is sort of the marine biological centre of, of the UK. You've got places like the, the Marine Biological Association, Plymouth Marine Laboratories, ourselves. The university's got a very strong marine biological school, uh, and there's uh, Safos and Sir Alistair, Alistair Hardy Foundation for Ocean Science. So it's, it's almost the, the scientific basis for the country for marine biology. Um, we are actually, by volume of displays, the largest aquarium in the country. Uh, we have three large exhibits that we scuba dive in. Uh, most of the aquariums generally only have one large exhibit. And then we also exhibit fish from local waters as well as tropical. A lot of aquariums now simply sort of just concentrate on tropical because they're a bit more colourful. Whereas we like to show, you know, show people what's just outside there on the doorstep. Unusual in this aquarium because we have such a large uh, interest in art. So, as you see when you walk around the aquarium, you find uh, many projects that have been done by a variety of school children. Um, this classroom facility is unusual in an aquarium because, again, there is so, so much to do with art around. Uh, all of our um, programmes that we work with children can include a one hour's art activity, which um, can be a sort of a follow up session to what we've been teaching in a two hour tour of the aquarium. Members of the public are encouraged to volunteer in the aquarium in order to influence others about what we can do to help marine life. Now we have two divers going in the tank, one is called Holly and one is called Sarah. We have talks throughout the day, so at certain points throughout the day we'll have talks in each exhibit area. Um, we also have an education team who take um, groups from schools in the local area. I uh, also do birthday parties and things like that, so we've got a lot of fun set up for, for children of all ages really. She's going to do a slow spin and show you a very important piece of equipment. Now, everyone can now see, I hope, on her back, she's got a nice big yellow cylinder. Now, this is very important. It's a good idea to keep breathing. I wonder what she's going to do. She looks like she's hunting around. I think she might be trying to find an animal. Now, as I said at the beginning of the talk, we do have some animals in here. They're a little bit shy. Oh, she's picked up a monster spider crab. This is really very, very brave because that is one of the biggest spider crabs we do have in the tank. And these spider crabs are very, very special because they're some of the only crabs in the whole world that can reach their big, big claws right over their backs. The future effects of climate change on the ocean are some of the main problems the aquarium tries to solve through its conservation and research. Some of the roles of the conservation uh, at the aquarium um, had some work to do with native seahorses, uh, captive breeding of those, um, and we also support other organisations. Uh, we have a thing called gift aid, which is where people can claim back the tax that they've paid on their earnings that they've then paid as entry fee. Uh, we're then able to put this into a pot of money and then put this out into conservation projects and we've had various ones over the last few years. And finally,
finally, what can we do to help tackle climate change and save the oceans? The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more did you look in for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wet and take it from me. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we be boating full time, you floating under the sea. <laughs> 